<laughs> Delightful. I, I think we're real. Hi, this is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here at DevNexus talking to members of the Java community. And I have the distinct honor of talking to Rosalie Tolentino. Hey, Rosalie. Hey, I'm actually honored to be here. Oh, um, great. Thanks for inviting me. We'd love to have you here on Night Hacking. Um, we heard you did a really great session yesterday on security, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. And the crowd that came out was really cool. So I'm yeah. glad to be here. Good. So tell us a little bit, you know, security is in the news a lot. So what are the things that developers aren't thinking about and need to start thinking about when they're developing their web apps? I think that, I think a lot of people actually know about the OWASP top 10 and they're aware of all these things. But uh, part of what really helped me along my journey as I was venturing into security is, is just like getting out of the typical developer mindset of, hey, uh, I'm making this feature, and it's going to work this way, and it's always going to work the way that I programmed it, too. Because, uh, because that's essentially what um, attackers take advantage of. It, oh. A form that you, you think is just a form actually will, will execute code for you. Um, so I, actually, I, I recommend other developers to go play some um, security games or like like some light CTF, um, capture the flag, or go to overthewire.com um, to check out the security games and like just play around and see what it's like to, to take advantage of another person's uh, application. And on a, the other side of it. Yeah, in oh, the okay. safe space, just for, just for fun, uh, just to feel that different. Different mindset. Yeah. But this security is QA's issue, right? I well, mean, developers don't have to worry about it. Well, security is so big. I mean, we. We talk about software security, but nobody really talks about hardware security. And, and then there's also like, if you have a Java application and you also use a, a web application and you've got JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and obviously Java, and you've got a framework that's susceptible to your classes being overloaded or, or some other like vulnerability, you, 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 there's a lot of complexity out there when you're coding mm -hmm. and it's not, I used to think that I could just be a hero on the team. Oh man, like if I read all this stuff about security, I could be the one to help out and not, not everybody needs to know about it. But that's just not the case. Uh, with all of that complexity, it makes much more sense for me as a developer to help like, um, to help handle some of the lower hanging fruit and make sure like, oh, it, we've handled injection, um, HTML injection or XML injection so that our QAs can handle the much more complicated um, manual experimental security testing that needs to be done um, to fully, like, to fully make the application secure, if that makes sense. So that makes a lot of sense. So okay, good. I'm yeah. glad. Yeah, yeah well, okay. It makes sense to me. So. Okay. Yeah, that you're giving QA time to deal with the real stuff and get rid of the, the obvious low-hanging fruit. Where do developers learn more about what the issues are? Um, well, so there's an organization called OWASP. Okay. Um, that's, that's a place I would start. If you haven't thought about security at all, most people will, will have heard about OWASP because they've, right. they've been around for 20 years, um, mm -hmm. and they've got a lot of really good resources out there um, that you can use. So just take, it's, it's a lot of text. Though, so when you go there, you go to the wiki. Um, it's like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna read this for a yeah. while, like a book. Um, and they also have books as well that they publish. But if you want to get, I, I really liked hands-on um, sort of experiments with technology. Uh, ja I, I did a talk today at Dev, um, yesterday at DevNexus where uh, Jack Singleton and I um, mentioned that we we published some workshops on our GitHub pages. Um, and those workshops go through the process of, hey, you're going to exploit the code first, see how that works, and then you're going to uh, identify where in the code it, it, the problem is and then fix it. Um, and it would be cool if you know, people started writing tests as well so that the code couldn't be taken advantage of in the same way again. But that's more, that's more complicated. Like it, it's just a, a good experience to go um, try out these workshops, or if other people like have workshops about them, like definitely ping me and let me know because I'm I'm really interested in that stuff. So it sounds like you talk, go out, talk to other developers, and I love your idea of hacking somebody else's code so you can get a sense of what it's like. For yeah, in a to in a obviously not like 
somebody else's production website. Right, like, exactly. Like, a, <laughs> but, <laughs> like yeah, 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 like a little, like, um, or even the process of making an app purposefully insecure is, is a really good um, way to Start turn to those thinking. wheels, you know, and uh, think about what, what makes applications secure, insecure. Excellent. Well, thank you for dropping by. It's a delight to meet you, and I'm sure we'll find out, find you more. Where are you on the web? What's your Twitter handle? Um, I, I'm at R-O-S-A-T-O-L-E-N, Rosa Tolan, and that's my GitHub and my Twitter. Excellent. So, Good. Well, yeah. thanks for dropping by. It's yeah. Good to talk to you. Thanks Nice so talking to you, too. This is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. Woo! You love